morning, LSD. I'm here to help you set up your gradebook in Q. When you sign in, you'll be on your home page, which is where we're at right now. First thing you want to do is go to menu, choose marks, choose gradebook. If you've not set up your gradebook, it'll take you right to the configuration window. Sorry, correction here, guys. If you haven't already chosen a section to work with, it may not take you to the configuration window automatically. So you want to click the gray find button near the top of your screen, see the first red arrow, and then it'll open up your sections, choose the section you want to start working with, and then choose configuration as I'm going to show you in the rest of the video. And it will show you by period the status of your configuration or setup. If you have red X's, it means each of these categories is not configured. A green check mark means it is configured. I want to help you see all green check marks across the board here. First thing we want to do is check our teacher preferences, which will be our first tab up here on the left. I would recommend keeping most of these set to their default settings as they are right now. So do you want to calculate grades using tasks due on or before current date, display point totals with the calculated grades, display only active students. Now if you have teacher's assistance in your school, you can turn this one on by checking it. Edit assignments in the spreadsheet tab, very useful at least from my opinion. Default assignments shared to Student Connect, Parent Connect. We want to share our data with our families. Sort assignments to sending by due date. This could be a personal preference. Now, this is a very important one. Your gradebook won't display correctly to people in Student Connect and Parent Connect unless you have this selected to current term or to the current trimester, which could be trimester one in this case. I usually stick with current term. When launching gradebook, you can choose whether to show it in roster or spreadsheet view. Um, personal preference, I just usually keep it in roster view. Select tabs you want to hide. I don't rec recommend hiding any tabs. Any changes you make, it, you want to submit them. If you want to start fresh, hit reset and start from the beginning. I'm going to submit here. Our next step is to go to options. And once you go into options and beyond, you're going to see all your class sections displayed. If you want to have the same settings set up for multiple classes, you check off those classes. It'll share the same settings so you don't have to do each one individually. If you have, say, an elective that has some different categories or settings in the gradebook, you want to leave those unchecked and do those separately. Our first box will be assignments results displayed and entered as. Do you want to enter them as numeric values or letter grade values? Second box is how to calculate student grades. Do you want to use pure point calculation method or a percentage calculation method? I highly recommend clicking on these question marks and reviewing the explanations for the two ways of doing it. Usually my personal preference is point calculation method. Default mark type is always going to be academic. Missing assignment scores count as zero in grade, book, or are not counted. Do we want a share assignment with those permitted access? That would be Parent Connect, Student Connect, and uh, Administration. We want to keep this checked. Display the current calculated gradebook mark. We want to keep that checked. Do not display calculated grade mark percentage. This is a personal choice. You always want to make sure this is set to current term or the current trimester. Display assignment class averages. You can decide to display those or not. And then display assignment percentage values. 
when you're done, you hit submit, or if you want to start over, hit reset and start from the beginning. Here I'm going to hit submit. Our next up will be setting up scoring categories for classes. Click on categories. Here you will see I have already created three categories, participation, collaboration, classwork, and AR book quizzes. We want to add a few more. I'm going to click add up top. This will give me my window with all my sections, so my common ELA sections. I'm going to click those three, and then you can just add different categories. So I'm going to add test quizzes. Click add, it gives me another option. You can add as many as you want. Standards based writing. I'm going to add and I'm going to stop there. So I have five total categories for my three ELA sections. Now, weight is an important thing to know about. So you're weighting the score. So, for example, if I had a writing assignment that was worth 10 points and I made this uh, a weight of 2, it would double, it uses a multiplier and it would double the score to 20 points, even though it's a 10 point assignment. So be careful and aware of how you use weighting. Here you can submit or reset if you want to start from the beginning. I'm going to submit. Our next step will be adding a grading scale. If you've never applied a grading scale before, you'll have nothing here. What you can do is apply a default grading scale that's built in the queue. You click on that, it'll show you your class marks and their minimum percentage. You can click OK. It'll show you over here your grading scale and it's color coordinated. You can edit all this. How do you edit? You go here, click the edit button. You can change the minimum percentage. You can change the color. You can also add your very own grading scale, but I find it easier just to go with the default and then edit it as necessary. Our next step is to go to scoring options. Again, you'll see where you can select the sections that will have common settings. Here you can add specific codes for your gradebook. Um, for example, late work, percentage of score earned or absences, you excused absences, you could choose ignore task, assign a color to it. I generally find it easier if you apply defaults, very similar to the scoring scale. It'll give you some codes, descriptions, uh, percentages, and whether you want to ignore the task or not. I find this easier because some are already created for you. For example, A, B, enter that into an assignment and it excuses them from task automatically. You can delete the ones you do not want. You can still add ones if you want. Okay. but I would choose the sections that you want and submit and now you have scoring options to help you in the gradebook. Our next option is setting up custom groups in the gradebook. You click on groups. Again you can choose the course sections you want to have um, the shared settings or groups in this case. You can add a custom group with a code, a description, and a color. You can apply defaults, and the current only current default is MC or Modified Curriculum. I'll just choose this one just for an example. And you can assign it a color. And basically all this is going to do is allow you to track different subgroups in your gradebook um, to be identified in your gradebook. For example, ELLs, um, students with IEPs or 504 plans would be another option. If you want to group students, you um, click on the specific group and you are shown your roster and you click on specific students that belong to that group. You would submit and then in your gradebook they'll be identified with specific groups.
So that's how you set up custom groups. All right, next thing we want to do is create some assignments. Go to the Assignments tab, click on that. We have no assignments. Most important though, make sure you're in the current term. Click Add. You're going to see here on the right, we have all our sections. If you have an assignment that will apply to multiple sections, for example, my 3 ELA, check those off. You can do that later if you forget. Now, you have your assigned on date. This is when it will show up in Student and Parent Connect. If you're very organized and like to pre-plan everything out and have all your assignments created weeks in advance, one problem with that is they'll show up and parents and students may start going, well, I see all these assignments, but I have no score for them. So that's where the second window, display on date. You can choose a post date when these assignments will display in Student and Parent Connect so you avoid that issue. Due date, pretty self-explanatory. I'll choose, today's Monday, I'll choose Friday. You give a name for the assignment, a full name, and then you always want to add a short title name or an acronym or just a shorter um, abbreviated name because this will help when you are viewing um, assignments in the spreadsheet view. You want to choose your category, I'm going to choose classwork, choose a point value, I'm going to choose 10. Your weighting, remember weighting is a multiplier, so if I chose 2, this 10 point assignment would actually be multiplied and count as 20 points in the calculated grade. Assignment graded, I would leave this unchecked until you've actually entered scores in. Uh, for some reason, if you want to hide an assignment from showing in Parent or Student Connect, you can choose this button or extra credit if you want it to be identified as an extra credit assignment in Student or Parent Connect. Down below you have all the students and you can actually excuse or make the certain students not responsible for the assignment by clicking on their name individually or you can see we made our modified curriculum group or other group you may have and you can just choose that group specifically to excuse them from the assignment. Then when you're ready, everything's set, you click submit and now we have our first assignment. As you add other assignments, you'll, this list will be populated here with all the different assignments for trimester one. All right, now we want to go check our configuration settings. And we can see for all my sections, my three sections of ELA, I have green check marks across the board, meaning my gradebook's all set up. Now here you can see in Frank School we have an advisory homeroom. Not all um, OSD schools will have this, but it's not a graded course, so you really this first period doesn't really need to be completely set up. Now you're going to see my two elective courses here. Um, I'm still lacking categories and grading scale. I want to copy these. Some of my categories may be common among my electives, and then I can always add new ones and the grading scale may be common too. I'll show you how to do that. You go to copy setup. So for example, let's say I want my categories and then I choose where I want to copy it from. So let's say one of my ELA periods that's all set up. And you can see the categories. I choose the classes I want to copy to. Hit submit. And then I want to go down and copy, go back to configuration. And now you're going to see basically all my classes are configured correctly. So now I can go back to my roster. I can see I now have percentage points possible. I click on spreadsheet view. Um, I can see I have my Cornell notes week one and as you add assignments it'll populate outward into a full spreadsheet in which you can quickly add in scores, um, late scores, and other um, data quickly. You can go by student again, by task, you can see I have my first task and then 
That's basically how you set up your gradebook. Any questions, please contact the Tectosas at the district or your site uh, tech mentor, and we'd be glad to help you. Thanks.